This video is a brief explanation on how TV and radio antenna systems work. Most television and radio stations have pretty elaborate antenna systems set up. However, we're usually not told what direction that antenna is in. Now you might say to yourself, heck, I know that television station is downtown. I'll just point toward it. Well, in most cases, you're wrong, and I'll explain why. With exception to, like, Chicago, where most of the television stations are transmitting from downtown, on the old Sears building, like WGN, WMAQ, and WLS television, most of us don't have that luxury. So let's explain what really happens at most television and radio stations. Most television stations use what's called an STL, or a Studio to Transmitter Link. The reason being is it makes a lot of sense to have the studio in a downtown area of a city easy access, and a notable presence in the community. However, with few exceptions, it makes no sense at all to have the transmitting tower there. It makes far more sense to put the antenna on a rather high hill or even a mountaintop. Even in areas that are really flat, to have that tower outside of town is a favorable situation. So you might be saying, what's this have to do with me? Well, if you're using an outside TV antenna, or even a pair of rabbit ears, to know where the antenna is located is far more important than knowing where the studio is because that's where the signal is coming from. Now here's a fine example of a combination of both. In Milwaukee, YWTMJ Channel 4 transmits right out of their backyard. WISN and WDJT both transmit on the northern side of Milwaukee using STL links to get there. And then if we look over at Eau Claire, most of the TV stations there transmit relatively close to town due to some of the higher terrain in that area. However, WEAU transmits from a 2,000 foot tower in Falls Church. Now if we look back at Green Bay, we'll notice that WBAY and WLUK both transmit from Scrace Hill and De Pere. A little bit south of that is WGBA and WACY's tower. And a little further south of that is WFRV with their transmitting tower. And if you think only television broadcasters do this, radio does it as well. Right near WGBA's tower is the tower for WAPL and its 100,000 watt blowtorch. So are studio to transmitter links common? Very much so. All the lines mixed in with the radio and television transmitting sites are all the STL links for both AM, FM, and television. So where does this leave us? In what direction should we point our television antenna? Well, luckily, there's numerous websites to help us with this. Antenna Point is probably one of the easiest tools. Just by putting in our zip code, it'll tell us which direction to point the antenna. Antenna Web is a great tool as well. Very similar to Antenna Point, it not only gives us the proper direction, but it also gives us the signal strength. In the DTV, reception map comes right from the FCC. Again, it gives us direction as well as signal strength and a very good coverage map. And those of us who are just looking for a good radio station, whether it be AM or FM, Radio Locator is a great website. It not only gives us location and signal strength, but a very good coverage map. There's even apps available for your Android device for a TV signal locator, as well as one for a radio signal locator. And for those of us that want to do a little deep diving, and what I used for most of this video was Google Earth's FCC Info plugin. There's a nice little area on FCCinfo.com for plugging in general information as well. So the next time you go by a TV station and see something like this, or a radio station that has something that looks like this, you'll know that the main transmitting tower is somewhere else. And that's how TV and radio antennas work. I hope this video has been helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe.